just another checkup so we're gonna leave soon and we get ready and yeah family so I'm now back for my appointment and we were a little late for the appointment but it all worked out and I called the pacemaker clinic to let them know that we'd be late and they told me that they're very impressed once I got there that I called them because a lot of teenagers wouldn't do that so I was like oh thanks and they think I'm very mature for my age which I do agree with I told a lot so that was cool and I have amazing news so since my surgery my pacemaker has been looking the best since it has been even when I was at sick kids in November right after my surgery it looks even better than that so I'm using my pacemaker 81% of the time and my pacemaker I'm not using for 20% of the time so that means that my regular heart rate is kicking in at that time and when it does my pacemaker shuts off but they said that's nothing to worry about it just means I don't need the pacemaker at that time so I'm really appreciative because that is like the best news I could have ever asked for because sometimes they tell me to keep an eye on it but luckily it's all good so in six months I'll go back which will be in July after I go on my dream vacation to Paris. So I'm going to take a cruise with my mom and we're going to go on a European adventure. We're going to go to first England and hop on the cruise and then we're going to go to Spain and Paris and then come home. So I can't wait for that. But in 10, in 10, <laughs> in 10 days from now, when I'm filming this on Wednesday, We'll be going to Jamaica Mon. Jamaica Mon. So I'm excited. So that's something to look forward to and knowing that I have a healthy heart. So yeah, celebrate. We went to the shop at Sick Kids and I got this really cute bracelet. And me and my mom picked it out. And while we were there, we we're talking about which bracelet to get. And this bracelet stuck out because it reminded us of the Gilmore Girls episode where Emily buys Rory a bracelet for her 16th birthday and it was a blue bracelet that lights up and I reference the line where she goes $12 is not a gift I'm like uh-huh no 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 <laughs> so yes that's why I picked it also because it reminds me of my bravery beads so it sticks out to me because it reminds me of how brave I've been over the last, um, let's see, how many months has it been? November, December, January, February. Four months since my surgery and throughout my whole life because I've had a heart condition since I was in the womb. <laughs> Anyways, we also went to the cafeteria and we bought these cookies. Here they are. All the money goes to the sick kids hospital when you buy one, they're for Valentine's Day. So it says love. And we have here two more 
each of these for my brother and I. This white one, really cute. I got the ones that look the prettiest. <clears throat> Hiccup. Anyways, uh, this is really cute. Look at this. And a red one. So those are for my brother. They can choose. Um, yeah. Oh, I like the ribbon. Oh my god, I can... Oh! <gasps> I'm gonna save the ribbon. I can put it in my hair. Oh, did I use the cookie? No, I didn't. And put it in my hair on Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna keep it. Anyways, um, also the lady at the cafeteria, she kind of like rude. She was saying to us, you should have put the cookies in the bag because they'll break. I'm like, what? I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. But some people like to put their two cents in. Um, so yeah, thought I would tell you that story because that's not very nice. And people need to be light. I mean, need, need to be light. They need to be nice because love is in the air. And you made these cookies for us, but you're not respecting us. So enjoy the love. <laughs> that made no sense. But yeah, she was not very nice. But I'm gonna enjoy this cookie. Let's see if it's good. Nice sugar cookie. Mm. I don't really taste the icing though, but it's pretty good. So, I'm gonna go make myself a hot dog for lunch and enjoy. And then my brothers will have a nice treat later on. Um, but yeah, so I'm very grateful and make sure to go check in my TikTok it. I took this out. Okay, I didn't stumble on my words here. But anyways, go check out my TikTok account because I posted a little story time. Basically what I told you guys, but if you want to go like it, please go there. And um, I'll also film a little dance and lip sync um, today. So go check those out. I love you guys so much and stay tuned for the vacation vlogs coming soon at the end of the month because um next weekend i'm going on vacation Woo! oh 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 whoops whoops <laughs> my mom's working and she's on a meeting so okay okay that's it enjoy the little things peace out